Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. For centuries, storytellers have spun their tales of magic and enchantment for the young at heart. Some are funny, some are romantic, some are scary, and some, well, have a little bit of everything in them. That's what I like so much about fairy tales. I have all my life. And that's why I'm so happy to have the opportunity to present fairy tale theater. And I must admit, as an actress, fairy tale theater also gave me an opportunity for some pretty great roles. Like in the next tale, which I play a poor Miller's daughter, who, with the help of a rather scary fairy tale character, truly live happily ever after. You'll find that what's in a name becomes very important as you join Ned Beatty, Hervé Vilches, and me in Rumpelstiltskin. I don't even know how to spell it. But why, Your Majesty? Every princess in this world has begged to marry you. Yes, yes. There's Princess Ansonia of Brassard, she who is more beautiful than even the royal swan. Yes, yes. Princess Delgoon of Benzor. Yes, yes. Princess... Yes, no! None of these names excite me, except maybe to excite me to anger. But they are princesses, my lord, every one. They have beauty, every one. <laughs> How could they displease you? They all come from small kingdoms. My lord? They come from small, poor kingdoms. My lord? Have you lost your memory in the stars in your cap? They are poor, poor. You don't want me to marry a princess who's poor, do you? The king is unhappy. Pass the word. The king is unhappy. The king is unhappy. The king is unhappy. The king is unhappy. Oh! Sir? Who stands out there? Your loyal subjects come to pay their monthly tribute. Send me one. Sir? Send one of those fellows in here. Which, sir? I don't care. Send me, uh... That lowly, stupid-looking one that's covered with dust. Who's he? The miller, sir, with his sack of flour. He'll do. I need some advice. From the miller? You'll see, you woozy wizard, you meddling magician. I can get better advice from anyone than I get from you. Send him in here, or I'll have your head. <laughs> I see in you the mark of intelligence. Me, sir? You, Miller. I am surrounded by fools. You're the man that will give me good advice. Me? Are you not intelligent? Uh, yes, sir. Oh. I'm looking for a queen. She must not just be beautiful, but... Do you know such a one in my kingdom? I don't know, sire. I'm, I'm a humble man. I, I don't know everybody in the kingdom. I, I do know of one, 
great beauty, though. If you can believe her boasting father. Oh, really? <laughs> Who? My daughter. Your daughter? Yes, sir. She is not only, like you say, perfect by my own estimation, but everybody who seems to know her says she is the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. Really? How come I have not heard of her before? Uh, she is a humble thing herself, sir, and hard to keep at home, too. I mean, she's always gone off into the hills, running with the deer. Spirited. I like it. Talented, too. She has all sorts of talents. Really? Yes, sir. She embroiders. Uh, she can spin her own thread. Talented, too. She can embroider tapestries. They look as though, well, they are said to, uh, to resemble gold. Gold? They, uh, resemble gold? Yes, my lord. Only resemble. My lord? She embroiders tapestries that resemble gold. Well, in a way, sir, they, they are gold. In what way are they gold? In a sort of a, a gold way, they are gold. Your daughter actually spins gold? Yes, sir. From what, Miller? From what, sir? From that which looks like gold. And what is that? Straw. She spins gold from straw. She indeed does sound like the most perfect girl in my kingdom. The miller's daughter, sir? Wizard. She indeed sounds like someone that I should meet. My daughter, sir? This afternoon. Daughter! Daughter! Where is my beautiful daughter? Yes, father? Ah, wash your face. Put on a dress. You're going to meet the king. My father, you've been drinking in town. The king wants to meet you. Put down that chicken. But he's my friend. Who needs a chicken for a friend? The king wants to meet you this afternoon. Oh. He has heard that you are beautiful. Oh, father, you've been bragging again. He has heard that you can spin and sew. But I hate to spin and sew. And embroider. Come. Embroider? Set to work. If it pleases you, yes, Pleases sir. me. It will delight me. Now start. Yes, sir, but start what? To spin. If it pleases you, yes, sir, but spin what? I see no wool. <laughs> she is spirited. <laughs> she amuses me. Now, start. Yes, sir, but start what? To spin, my child, the straw. Straw? Into gold. The straw into gold. The straw? Into gold. Then I will be pleased. Oh, my king, I... What's the matter, I, my child? Don't be frightened. Speak up. I've never spun straw into gold. Never? I don't know how. 
Miller, you told me. Daughter, I told oh, him. Father, you he told, him. told me. Now, don't pretend that it's not true. <laughs> it will be done. Tonight. Tomorrow this will all be gold. Or I will not be pleased. He will not be pleased. And you will die. You will die. Sad, sad tears. You frightened me. You must not cry. It makes me sad. I hate to be sad. Who are you? The question is, who are you? The miller's daughter, right? Right. And why are you crying so? That's the other question. Because I must... Because you must turn this straw into gold, right? Right again. What will you give me if I were to do it? If I were to turn this toe into gold, what will you give me? Oh, anything. But what have I got of any worth? This ribbon. My neck ribbon with this cameo. Will it do? It will do. Oh. I'm so pleased with all this gold. Oh, why won't you answer me? 
Did you call me? No. What will you give me? Where your hand rests now is all I have left to give. Oh, a ruby ring. It was my mother's. It will do. largest room I could find in my castle. It's so enormous. You must spin for me just one more night. Oh, even I, my king, even if I had help, I could never spin all this into gold. Not by morning. You must. You must. And when you do, I will make you my wife. Why? <laughs> I mean to say, oh, your wife, my queen, the miller's daughter, my lord, your queen. Yes, you toothless fool. Where am I going to meet a girl who is richer? I have teeth, sire. Who oh, has more beauty? Would you not like to be my queen? I've never given it much thought. My lord. You'll have all night to think of it. As you work. All this into gold. And if I can't, I die.
Oh, what am I to do? I never wanted to be queen. Queen? Oh, I miss my farm and my bed and my friends in the woods who never tell me I am to die, even when I disappoint them. Queen? Oh, what is all the gold in the world when people want to make you die? The king will make you his queen if you turn all this into gold. And if I were... What? If I were to turn all this into gold... Yes? And you were to become queen... Yes? Would you? Would you give me your firstborn child? He will never make me queen. I ask you, would you? He couldn't have been sincere. Your firstborn child. Yes. My lord, your queen. The queen is happy. when you give me what I came for. What? Your promise. Oh, no, please. You cannot. Miller's daughter, the kingdom may know you as a queen, but I remember a tearful little girl who made me a promise. No. Your firstborn child. No. Give me. No. Oh. I am queen. I can give you anything. All the riches of the kingdom, but not, no, never, my child. A secret for you, my queen. 
I don't want the richest of your kingdom. Oh. I'd rather have something. Oh. Lie. Oh, no, never. Oh, I don't care what I promised. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, please. 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 Please don't cry. Please. Please. Don't cry. Make me sad. Please. I hate to be sad. <laughs> All right, all right. I give you three days. Oh, yes, little man, three days. For what? Three days to find out what my name is. Oh, what is your name? It's... That's what you have to find out. You have three days. And if I do? You may keep your child. Oh. It isn't John? Three days. Or Charles or George or Sam? And you can keep your child. Or Rupert or Roland or Frank. Oh. Herbert? Oh. He's a little man, just so. With a curious smile, a little peaked cap, and a handkerchief that glows like fire. Even have a clue. I'll be back tomorrow. Bill, how about Bill? No. We have searched everywhere, Your Majesty, and no one has seen the little man, and no one knows his name. Oh, please, men, go further into the kingdom. Into every cottage and every woods, every crag and every cave. Yes, Your Majesty. And with speed. I have only two days. Short ribs? No. Sheep shank? No. Sack butt? No. Sludge? No. Well? Nothing. Nothing. Did you look into your magic mirror? And? Nothing. Did you go into dangerous wood that lies beyond Black River? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. We made a thorough search, but we got out before dark. But why? Well, no one stays in dangerous wood after dark. Not even I, my queen, with all my magic, would dare to stay there after dark. Strange. As a child, I roamed those woods night or day. I had many friends there. Well, maybe we could talk to them. Some rabbits? The unicorn? A mouse or two? recognize myself, but it is I, the miller's daughter. For reasons much too long to explain, I live now in the castle, where I am queen. Oh no, please, don't let that frighten you. I have come to you because I need you. I need your help. Please, I am looking for a man. You rabbit. You have so many brothers and sisters. 
Perhaps one of them has seen a man. A short man. No? You, Raccoon, little bandit who steals in the night. Perhaps you have seen someone while the rest of us slept. A very short, small man. With a handkerchief that glows in the dark. No? Oh, help me, little unicorn. You, whose magic protects you in the dangerous wood. You can see farther and run faster than any of us. I'm looking for a very small, short man. Can you help? Yes? Oh, please, will you take me there? Yes. Still scan. They have just begun to bloom. I had to be there. Ah, no thanks. Where's the child? I want the child. But I have another chance. Yes, yes, go on. Is it? No. But I haven't spoken. Speak, I'm in hurry. Did you say before that it isn't Harold? No, it's not Harold. Hmm, a shame. I always liked Harold. Pretty good. Not Will? No. Not Ron? No. Hmm. You give up? Well then, it must be Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> no? Okay. 
told you. They told you that. They told you the witches of dangerous wood. No. They told you that. The evil fog of Black River. No. They told you. No. They told you that. I'm going to boil them. And I'm going to eat them. And I'm going to kill them. Kill them again. And boil them. And eat them. And kill them. And I will kill them. And boil them. And eat them again. I will kill them. I hate 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 them. And I hate them. And I hate them. Good look at the royal nose. Let, let, let him see your royal nose. My, my dear, you, your father and I were just discussing affairs of state with the young prince. Oh, yes. My dear, but... My love. What's the matter? Oh, nothing's the matter. Nothing at all. Really? Well, back to affairs of state. Wizard? My lord. Let it be decreed. My lord, that we all be happy as long as we all shall live. Yes, my lord. Okay, all right. One, just one time. Just, you can, you can do it. Can't hold it yet, but you can. <laughs>